Hello, this is Mohammed Abu Shanab speaking to you from New Border London Headquarter Office. We will continue discussing about what kind of requirements or what kind of details you will need to provide when applying to UK visit visa um, from overseas. One of the question of the thing that we always get about, do I need to provide my all the trips or all the travel overseas from my home country or my country of residence during the last 10 years or no? That's too much information. Sometimes I travel, if, for example, if I'm living in the, uh, in the Middle East or the Gulf State, sometimes I travel to neighborhood country on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Do I need to complete all the information about my travel during the last 10 years? The, the perfect answer for this, or the best answer, that you need to provide as much as information during the last 10 years. For example, if you have the most major information that you need to provide is if you would like applied for a visa. For example, if you have uh, applied for a, a visit visa to the United States or Canada, Australia, uh, the EU, Schengen um, uh, visas, or, the, uh, or Australia or New Zealand, that's the most five visas that you need to provide information. Also, if you applied for any visas that have been rejected or or even if you or, or cancel, if you have any immigration issues with any country, you need to provide. One of the main, main reasons of refusing visa visa that you try to hide information. If you have been rejected, for example, a Schengen visa before or a visa to Ireland or a visa to United States or Canada, and you, you ask yourself, they will never know. I, I mean, they will never check that I've been uh, uh, applied before or have been rejected. I mean, provide false information in the visit visa. You're providing such information to the UK government. So your, your application not just can be refused, you can get a ban entry from a year up to 10 years. You can be asked or challenged question at the UK border when you try to enter from um, an port of entry. And that could make a lot of problems to you. So you have to be very clear. You have to be that information you provide about the, done, the, the last 10 year travel history. I mean, some 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 will ask, okay, how can I find my travel history for the last five years or ten years? Depending on your passport, you have to check your passport. You can check your uh, hotel bookings. You can check you can check your air travel tickets. You'll find all the information about this and try to be accurate as possible. And you have to take into consideration if you applied before to UK visa, visa, all the information have to be accurate. If you say that. Uh, if you apply, for example, to 2015 and say that I've traveled to five countries and then apply again to 2018 and say, no, I've traveled only to two countries. That's misleading information. That's information which could lead to your application could be rejected. So you have to check the other applications that apply to the UK before to make sure that the information is correct in both applications because any difference in this can lead to refusal. We try to help you as much as we can with information to get your visa, UK visa, granted and accepted from the first time. We'll be waiting your questions and comments below if you're watching on YouTube and please subscribe and share if you like this video. Thank you for watching. This is Mohammed Abashalam speaking to you from London headquarters, a new border office. Thank you.